United States of America and Mrs. Reagan. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthems of the Republic of El Salvador and the United States of America.
It is with great pride by many in this city's circles of power. The communist guerrillas, it was said, were an irresistible force. And the cruel tactics of the right could not be thwarted. The cause of democracy was doomed, military under civilian control, and helped turn it into a professional and respected part of Salvadoran society, a responsible force for both national security and democratic government. You reformed the police. The power of democracy itself deserves credit as well. Democracy is a system that offers a peaceful method of settling differences. It is a system which can incorporate a wide spectrum of views. Today, the prospects for attaining this peace, although still far from certain, are better than at any time in this decade. The United States remains committed. Silencing the guns is no easy goal. And President Duarte, we both know peace and democracy are inextricably linked. If peace is to prevail, so must democracy. Human rights and on open and free elections. It depends on respect for the freedoms of speech, religion, and assemblies, on honest dialogue engaged in violence. Those who are engaged in armed struggle against your government have been invited to join in the democratic process. You have negotiated directly with the leaders of insurgent forces, since made the tough choices and stood together. In these last six and a half years, through the strength of purpose of brave and far-sighted individuals like President Duarte, a crisis has been averted and Admiral Progros who share that vision. President Duarte, again, it is an honor to welcome you. by you on this colorful ceremony. This is the first time in many years that a head of a state of a Central American nation has been received by the United States President on a state visit. I receive this honor with great modesty, knowing full well that this ceremony is an acknowledgement to the democratic steadfast through all these years and has served to build a strong democracy which although not yet perfect, is modeled after your own. Your constant and on Your Congress, too, has walked with us the difficult roads we had had to travel. For that, we thank you. And today, peace is at a step turn will only be attained to comprehensive dialogue and negotiated ceasefire. I also insist that each Central American president has the rest of a long way to go. I encourage you to do many times in which people with hate in their heart have your flag and in the name of my people to give them a kiss. 